for decades, placing an epidural has relied on touch. A subtle change in resistance fell through the fingertips. But in the most critical moments, that feel can be obscured by anatomy, tension, or contractions. And what if, for the first time, there was a way to see what you could only feel? A new signal, an objective information. She was 20 years old, in active labor with her first child. Contractions were coming strong every two minutes, and she was exhausted. And when she finally asked for an epidural, the anesthesiologist stepped into the room, a familiar scene to anyone who has ever worked in labor and delivery. The patient sat on the edge of the bed, leaning forward with the nurse supporting her shoulders. But as the anesthesiologist palpated her back, it became clear this wasn't going to be an easy epidural. Her lumbar lordosis was pronounced and the usual bony landmarks were obscured. And even with good positioning, it wasn't obvious where the midline was. This is the kind of moment where the room gets quiet, gets tense. The patient looks to you for reassurance. The husband too. The nurse is ready to hold her through the contraction and you know that finding an epidural space quickly and safely will make a difference between a long night of suffering and a controlled, supported delivery. But it won't be easy this time. The two-way needle advanced slowly through the supraspinous and interspinous ligaments. The anesthesiologist's fingers pressed gently against the plunger, searching for that subtle drop in resistance, the click we all have been trained to feel. But with each contraction, her paraspinal muscles tightened. The tactile feedback was muddled. Was that resistance from the ligament? or just the patient tensing against the pain? Was the next millimeter about to deliver the loss of resistance or a false plane, or lead to a wet tap and a postural punch or headache? This is where uncertainty creeps in sometimes. And in those moments, even experienced clinicians wish for one more piece of confirmation. The syringe attached to the TUI wasn't an ordinary one. As the needle approached the ligamentum flavum, the indicator on the EpiFate smart syringe held steady, showing expected resistance. At 6 cm, there was a sudden, unmistakable drop. The smart signal disengaged. For the anesthesiologist, it wasn't just the feel through the fingertips anymore. It was a visible objective cue. The needle tip was in the epidural space. The confirmation was instant, and the tension in the room dissolved. Aspiration was negative, the catheter threaded easily, and within minutes, the patient was resting more comfortably than she had in hours. The nurse smiled, the patient exhaled in relief, and the anesthesiologist moved on to the next room. Another story. These are things that makes us really feel good about what we do. For the team, the epidural was routine, but for the patient, it was transformative. And for the anesthesiologist, it was another reminder that in those tough, ambiguous, high-stakes moments, having a visual confirmation can make a difference between doubt and confidence. Epidurals will always depend on skilled patients and a clinician's touch. But when that touch is challenged by body habitus, labor contractions, or just the uncertainty of tissue transitions, an extra signal can be very helpful. And that's exactly what the EpiFate smart syringe does a visual confirmation that complements the tactile skill we have always relied on. In labor and delivery, where every second matters, it can be the quiet difference between searching and knowing. And this is why I'm so excited to see one objective tool in epidural analgesia. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and never miss the future ones. Until next time.